Mark, 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 Mark 16, 15. And he said to them, as you go into all the world, preach openly the wonderful news of the, the gospel to the entire human race. Whoever believes the good news and is baptized will be saved. And whoever does not believe the good news will be condemned. And these miracle signs will accompany those who believe. They will drive out demons in the power of my name. They will speak in new tongues. They will be supernaturally protected from snakes and drinking anything Glory poisonous. To Glory to God. And they will lay their hands on the sick and heal them. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Question. Yes. Where it says the gospel to every creature. Why do they use creature? I used to think, do we minister to the cats and dogs and everybody? Well, too? you know, <laughs> I do. That's what St. Francis yeah, did. We pray for him. And I and that, we do. Curse that human race. Yeah. You know. It says that in here too, creature. You know. Um, why, why did they use that? Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. But, but you know what? I have I talk to the animals. I tell them to come to Jesus. Especially if they're being honoring. I say, you better come to Jesus. <laughs> well, there's the scripture where it says spirits can go in them. In the, right? in yeah. the Strong's, I mean, what it talks that. about is that instead of creature, it's creation. It, oh, thing yeah. creature. thing creation. created. Okay. So anything well, created and after a rabbinical usage by which man converted from idolatry to Judaism was called. So everyone at this point, it has to do no with creation. the creation. creation. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. That makes more sense than creature. But tonight we're going to talk about creative, being creative too. So that's really good. Or that, I'm glad you pointed it out. <laughs> I always wondered See, about that. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that way, but there we go. Well, and I do talk to my plants. I tell them to live and not die. Right. <laughs> They're the works of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> because it's scary in my house. <laughs> Water <laughs> they have to come around. They have to find their own life because I am obviously I don't have it in me, but I'm trying. I prayed for myself today. <laughs> I'm planting things. My grass is pretty green. I'm proud of it. Right I'm not... <laughs> but when it gets hot, it suffers. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. Well, I planted a bunch of stuff, and I. I'll just be happy if any of it comes out. Right. So, <laughs> at this point, I'm like, oh, God, help. Okay, so we just I just want us to remember who we are. We're the church. And I'm going to drive this home to us over and over and over again. Because the church in general has said, we want you to come to our church. And we're going to have you sit on the seat and not teach you how to share the gospel or we might give you a formula we might tell you this this you know i don't want to knock the four spiritual laws but you know what i mean we have a formula if you do this for people they'll come to jesus well that may be true or may not be true how do people come to jesus they're holy, holy spirit they're yeah. drawn by the holy spirit right. And so our job was to go and wait, like we talked about last week, go and wait to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So our whole job is to be full of the Holy Spirit so that when we do go out, we have the Holy Spirit with us. And whether we say anything to anybody, we are walking in obedience to the Holy Spirit. And God is drawing people all around us. I believe, you know, I feel like I can go into a store and, and change and the atmosphere has changed just because I'm there. Right? You know, if you hear a baby crying, you pray, Father, hold it up, sure you. And and that baby will settle down. So we want to be the ones who oh yay! I wondered if you guys were gonna make it. <laughs> no, no. Wait, her mom just had certain yeah, procedures. Oh, so the oh so we take your spots. Oh, no, you're yeah, good, you're good. Yeah, come on. Well, up here. just move this stuff. Here. We just uh worked. we had we came late because I'm sure. glad you did. We're just getting started. We're right? just getting started. We're just getting started. Well, it's all going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you go in. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.
Wow. Okay, now I can share your name. <laughs> <laughs> no, yesterday. I was talking to. What's the matter? I said, your, said name your name yesterday. I said, uh -oh. Jerry Burns. Well, I said what your name. Yeah. 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 Good to see you. Good to see you. Like an Alex we were just getting yeah. unlocked the door. <laughs> No way. So <laughs> they have a store on the, the county line, line. Long Tree. Okay. Okay. Long tree. okay. Oh, oh nice day out there. Well, not in California, but here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the key, my friends. <laughs> this is the missionary's friend. Oh, oh that's yeah. if you get your So you can get it at County Line and yeah. County Line and uh, Quebec. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This just saved my that's life. So and it's very strong. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how, how she And where do you get like. it? At the little Indian store the right there what in the uh, shopping center. No, it's menthol. It? Oh, it's, what is it? It's menthol. You know what they're trying to outlaw in cigarettes? <laughs> That's what it is. And what does it do? What do you about cold? if you are sick? Yeah. Uh, like if you start to get a sick stomach, take one. Yeah. I, I mean, I've been in a house full of sick people mm -hmm. and taken one immediately if I start to think, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. and it's stronger than peppermint. It's, it's strong. It goes. Let me take a picture but of it. It heals you. Yeah. yeah. God bless you. Oh, oh, I was out. Well, so no, I'm not out. The yeah, mold is coming from India. Yeah. So I'll just distribute here. Like, yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, someone's playing back, so I ordered some. I'm clothes. telling you, oh, when I was in India, this saved my life, literally, because we had to get on the plane. That's so good to know. Oh my goodness, and I ended up with an issue. And it's just an Indian store. Yeah, it's, yeah, a lot of Indian grocery okay, stores. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know I moved so close to that. We'll, we'll There's a gas there. station on here. <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 no. I'm glad. It Listen. starts with a K. Okay. okay. This is real medicine in my life. <laughs> I mean, anything. I mean, diarrhea, even. Yes, we yeah. Any kind of a sick, gassy, anything mm -hmm. stomach. You just take one of those, and it that you might you might feel the menthol, you know, oh, yeah. come up in your throat just a little bit. But look how little they are. Yeah. I mean, they're little tiny, yeah. and oh, it's yeah. like it's yeah. like a, a bomb in your. Well, the Indian store has to have it with all the spices. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it just right next to the curry. Uh, I mean, Montezuma this comes curry. from the land of Montezuma's yeah. revenge. So <laughs> just remember that. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, nice He's migrating. But if you feel like you have, there's no borders right now. Long. There's no world of travel there. It's going to make you sick. I'm telling you, but we know if we drink anything that will poison, it will not harm us. That's, That's right. So. We just read it. This is and even we can take up serpents. And no. It's not going to drink anything deadly. So interesting. Yes, it is. We live in the day. And, yes. and you guys have been watching the, the stuff, right? So we know that the... Well, think like all through the COVID. Yes. I didn't get it. That's right. All around me, people got it. Yes. And I worked with the kids all the time. That so I, good. You probably have a, a immune yeah. system of iron. Because <laughs> well, you work well, with it's the word too. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But that's how it was when I had kids. I My, my gut was iron. And I had... <laughs> My kids would all be sick, and I'd be mom the whole time, and I would get sick. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to get there's one more scripture I want to get out. Is it? But yeah, we okay. So we're gonna go over at Mark. Yeah, we just read that. So what we were talking about is that we're the church. We're the church. There's nobody else that's gonna go out and do the work of sharing the gospel. It's our it's our job. However, it's not our hard work. It's our job to be full of the Spirit. Yes. And no matter where we go, when we're full of the Holy Spirit, no matter what, what I said when you guys started coming in, was that we are to be carriers of the presence of God no matter where we go and that the atmosphere will change when we go into a room. Amen. That's what we want. Whether we say a word or not, and we don't have to say a word, right? So, and we have coffee over there. It's decaf on top of everything, so it's yummy. Okay. Yeah. Like that guy in the prison, 
that he talks about. Well, the jail in Canada. Yeah. Remember, he was in there for 23 hours. She came out. He didn't say a word, and people got like evicted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mr. Kowalski. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> Praise the Lord. Right. I did have him lay hands on me and pray for me because. God bless him. Yeah, yeah, he's amazing. God bless him. Courage. That's yeah. the courage. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We, I said I need courage. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go to, um, um, see, that's where I need my notes. I'm sorry, we got a little bit sidetracked today. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 10. Do you have the tech passion translation at all? I'm sorry. If not, it's okay. First Corinthians 10, and this is good. I didn't bring mine. It's okay. I don't want to make him. He's okay. running the whole ship by himself <laughs> back there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, Janet, you want to read it? Sure. Of, the, you can read it out of the passion, and we'll see it in the... In uh, the New King James at the same time. Okay, okay. starting in one. Yeah, uh, uh, why not? Okay, my dear fellow believers, you need to understand that all of our Jewish ancestors who walked through the wilderness long ago were under the glory cloud <laughs> okay. and passed through the waters of the sea on both sides. They were baptized into the cloud of glory, into the fellowship of Moses, and into the sea. They all ate the same heavenly manna and drank water from the same spiritual rock that traveled with them. And that rock was Christ Amen. himself. Amen. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, and their dead bodies were scattered around the wilderness. Now, all these things serve as types and pictures for us, lessons that teach us not to fail in the same way by carelessly craving worthless things and practicing idolatry as some of them did for it is written the people settled into their unrestrained revel revelry with feasting and drinking then they rose up and became wildly out of control neither should we commit sexual immoral immorality as some of them did which caused death of 23,000 on a single day nor should we ever provoke the Lord, as some did, by putting him into outrageous tests as their results in their way, in their, it resulted in their deaths from snake bites day after day. Wow. And we must not embrace their ways by complaining, grumbling, and discontent, as many of them did, and they were killed by the destroyer. Mm. All the, all the tests they endured on their way through the wilderness are, sim, are a symbolic picture, an example that provides us with a warning so we can learn through what they experienced. For we live in a time when the purpose of all the ages past is now completing its goal within us. So be aware if you think you, it could never happen to you, lest your pride becomes your downfall. Amen. Okay, now I'm thinking I might have these be wrong and it might be second Corinthians that me. But we live in the wondering where you're we live in the I that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole book is really good. For um second see try second Corinthians ten because it's spiritual warfare. It's uh we Oh, oh no, we, it is, you're right. Is it second yeah. Corinthians ten? Casting, yeah, it's okay. Up, it, yeah, screen. so we know the weapons are warfare. Number four. So, um, Second Corinthians 10. Yeah. I right. beg you when I'm present, I may not be bold with confidence, but I, which I intend to be bold against some who I think will walk in the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down arguments and every high thing. Say that in that do the uh, let me let me read it out of the, the passion because I think I have it right here. For although we live in the natural realm, we don't wage a military campaign employing human weapons using manipulation to achieve our aims. Can I just say that manipulation is probably the number one thing that is used against us 
on a day-to-day -day basis. I remember studying advertising mm -hmm. when I was in high school. I did a whole thesis report on advertising. It was shocking then. That's 40 years ago. Yeah. I was dating myself, but it was bad then. Right. Yeah. How the manipulation was, the subliminal stuff, the stuff that they were pushing off on us way back then by manipulating. What's another word for manipulation? Witchcraft. 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 <laughs> so um, God doesn't Ooh, use that. God doesn't use no. manip uh, manipulation. He doesn't use witchcraft at all. He doesn't need to. He uses the truth. So if the truth is is usable then it's usable for us it's, if it's the best then we need to be using the truth amen and not being caught up in anything that would manipulate us and make our ears tune toward another sound right yeah. who do we want to listen to the Holy sound of the who the good shepherd and we will not listen to the voice of another but so many of our prayers are manipulative prayers trying to manipulate there god you know? we don't need we have we don't need to manipulate we sure don't need to manipulate god and and, and, and you know what i'm always asking the lord uh hey teach me to pray teach me to pray mm -hmm. because that's why i speak in tongues so much amen because yeah, if i have any kind of a forked tongue right it is a disaster yeah. to God's ears. And he's like, mm, can't hear that prayer. You're not lined up with the word of God. So but if we, we pray the word, that's not manipulation. We want to pray the word of God. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because that is not manipulation. It's his that's word. Right. Now, if I'm demanding my way. No, no. But I mean, you pray in humility. We heart. pray in humility. Yeah. We were, uh, we and that mind is the only wise God. And of course, every man. He knows the best. Amen. And we remind him of his word. Yeah. We can remind him. Not that he's forgotten. No. But we just, it's basically when we say we're reminding him of his word, we're just saying, Lord, I remember this, and I know you remember this, and I'm in agreement with this. And that's all we're doing. We're just saying, I agree. And you know what? We can agree with the prayers that um, have gone up before that we know. We're praying in God's will. We agree with those things because I, I often say, I remember the prayers that the saints have prayed in this building and these buildings that I know this is God's um, plan to keep this place being used for God's plan, not for any other purpose. Yes. All right. And we agree with those prayers and we call them back because we want to this place to be established and be used for God's kingdom, his, his plan. Not not my plan, but his plan. And so manipulation to achieve our aims. Instead, our spiritual weapons are energized with divine power to effectively dismantle the defenses behind which people hide. That's good. That's like that word that's sharper than it should. That's right. Remember, remember when we were talking when we were doing the old the uh, book of Revelation and we said the Lord is ready and i forget the scripture but he said don't we want every everything that props us up to be kicked out to be out anything that keeps us leaning on that instead of the word of god or instead of the holy spirit if, we, if we're leaning on if i'm leaning on uh, my fear you know to keep me safe or if i'm leaning on you know what i have a stash of food i'll be okay if I'm leaning on anything mm -hmm. other than God and his word, then I have, I, there's a problem here because this can be knocked out from under me. And, and I'm also, it could be shaken loose. It can be shaken loose. And it's, it's, it's a defense that I'm hiding behind. I'm mm -hmm. saying this will save me and it won't. But see, in that first Corinthians 10. Yes. It absolutely was talking. About That's exactly that. right. We accidentally did it. Yeah. It wasn't it's an accident. right on. It is right because on. Because they did. They depended on. They wanted to go back to Egypt because the garlic, the, the, and, the, garlic and the onions and all right. this stuff. And, and yet God was doing something good. And we could mm. fall into that today. We sure could. Yeah. We, we could so do the same thing. And Amen. we could complain and whine about what's going on instead of agreeing with God. Instead of agreeing with, with God. With all yeah. this exposure. Oh, with Even though it's hard. Even though it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Do a lot of people stay in their infancy <laughs> because they don't want to give up those work. crutches that they allow them. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's exactly right. And now that we all know all the things that we know, 
all the stuff that's come out, do any of us want to go back? No. no. Could no. any of us go back and live like no. we don't know? No. Right. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. We're so glad we, this is happening. Amen. Yeah. Because people are, our it's eyes great. are being opened and look. And uh, look, our redemption's drawing Whoa! Yeah. And do I want to go back one day away from my redemption? No. no. I want to stay. I, and even though it's hard, I don't like some of the things that are happening. But I tell you what, I don't want to go backwards. Okay. So we can demolish every deceptive fantasy that opposes God. I love that, the way he says that. Because anything that opposes God. Um, is a fantasy. I the long war against God has been happening since Cain and Abel. Well, since Cain killed Abel and Adam sinned, Adam and Eve sinned. That thing that opposed God is being broken, and we praise God. We break through every arrogant attitude that is raised up in defiance of the true knowledge of God, and we capture like prisoners of war every thought and insist that it bow in obedience to the anointed one. You know what? When you don't feel good or when you're in pain, you do have to capture your thought process. Yeah. And you have, or let's say you've been shocked into a reality that you didn't want to know. <laughs> you have to capture your, 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 um, your thought process and say, Lord, I bow my knee, I bow my mind, my, my thought process, my attitude, I bow to you because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you know everything. And I agree with your plan and I pray God that you help me open my eyes so that I will, I, I don't have to know everything, but my, my attitude, like you said, we have to agree with God, not say, oh God, stop, <laughs> right? God, stop. We don't want any more things exposed. No, we we, we want to move but forward. I was thinking this, yes. you know. Think of that. The one people want to live in their little reality of this life here, and that's so nice and good. But it's not really. No. The truth is, it's sinful, it's wicked, it's death. Right. Our new life is hid with God in Christ. Amen. He's coming, and you want to be waking up to the truth. Amen. Like, there's nothing good in the world, the flesh and the yeah. devil. It's all dying and decaying. We might have pretend ourselves and pretty it up, but it's like those line commercials. Right. You know, I remember when I was a kid, they said, oh, use this toothbrush. You'll be popular. Or even <laughs> think of like the alcohol <laughs> commercials. Right. You know how they showed them and now they're yes. showing them truth or the smoking the commercials. The smoking commercials. Yes. <laughs> it's like smoking was good for you. Yes, smoking was good. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather fight than switch. That's the venomous. Uh, that's why they gave them away. Menthol. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. <laughs> Get them <laughs> So we capture every thought and insist that it bow in obedience to the anointed one. Since we're armed with such dynamic weaponry, we stand ready to punish any trace of rebellion as soon as we choose complete obedience. So when we, oh, we choose to obey the word of God, it is interesting how our mindset begins to say, no, I disagree. You know, once a lie has been exposed, and you disagree, and I've told you this other times, but I say, always say, I disagree with that lie. And I'm telling you, the enemy will whisper a lie to yeah. you, mm -hmm. and you will think, oh, well, that sounds right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, he, he's, he's such a, he's so sneaky. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a lie I was listening to for two weeks one time, and this has been years ago, but I remember when it happened, and I thought, man, that was just rotten <laughs> that I had somebody that I was losing patience with and he said that enemy said to me um it's okay I'll deal with it because I'm not I'm not I don't I won't have patience for that much longer and I heard that and I thought well that's probably true and I listened to that for two weeks and I woke up one morning I woke up I was as I was waking up, the Lord said to me, because that's when he's got to talk to me. <laughs> as I was waking up, he said, So when have I ever lost patience? Mm -hmm. Never. 
Hell, it what's is it? so crazy. Long, oh, and long oh, suffering. Oh, suffered so long. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, I went, <gasps> I believed a lie. I repented. Man, I started repenting early in the morning and I didn't stop. I repented all day long. I said, I have listened to a lie, Lord. I repent. That was, that was a voice of another. It's a lie. I had, and I disagree with that lie. And I agree with your truth. And I, it, for a long time in my life, I had listened to so many lies, especially about fear, that I had to just turn straight to that liar and say, I disagree with that lie, whatever it was that I was dealing with at that time. And I would turn and I'd say, Lord, I agree with your truth. I don't understand it, but I agree with it. And I disagree with that. And I will not listen to that. And it took that kind of a decisive turn in my own life to where I could actually foundation myself and then not fear anymore and not listen to the liar so i just want to say we all have to be on guard right because it's just like god says this is a war okay so let's go to hebrews 5 11 because we want to move on to full-on maturity in the Lord. hebrews 5 11 hebrews 5 11 and this is the scripture in one of the translations where it says by reason of use we will use we will exercise our spiritual gifts it's up on the screen the passion translation okay so come down just a little bit i think we'll start at six. Oh, did i say six you said 11 11 i'm sorry i'm sorry 11 okay yeah you're right you can move it up so everybody can see it okay so who'd like to read that who can read that i can't oh up there either yeah if you can read okay it. we have much to say yeah. about this topic although it's difficult to explain because you have become too dull and sluggish to understand don't you feel that way? <laughs> For Don't. you should already be professors instructing others by now, but instead you need to be taught from the beginning the basics of God's prophetic oracles. You are like children still needing meat, milk, and not yet ready to digest solid food. For every spiritual infant who lives on milk is not yet pierced by the revelation of righteousness. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good, isn't it? Oh, that is. Read good. it again. That was good. For every spiritual infant who lives on milk is not yet pierced by the revelation That's of great. righteousness. You can keep going. Oh, see, mine says unskilled in the word of righteousness. Okay, pierced good. That's good. Is better than us. That's good. Either picture. way, yeah. you, could, you could say that. But solid good. food is for the mature whose spiritual senses perceive heavenly matters. Oh, that's good. Too. Yes. <laughs> and they have been adequately trained by what they've experienced to emerge with understanding of the difference between what is truly excellent and what is evil and harmful. Amen. So we want, well, think of that even just with Jesus. Yes. Remember how when the word, the enemy came to him in the wilderness and said, that, but he was able to nope this is what the truth of the real matter amen. is amen knowing the word amen the, the word of god of exactly these spiritual senses so we want our spiritual senses to perceive heavenly matters right that's what that's how we gain maturity we listen to the word i had somebody call me this week and talk 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 and so finally, I just set my phone down because I thought she's not going to hear a word I say. <laughs> so she talked for about 20 minutes, literally, without stopping. You did your grocery shopping. I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I done. And then I said, listen, because she has some major problems. She has some major problems. And I, I'm not saying they're not major problems. They are major problems. But I said, are you willing to submit to the word of God? And have the word of God change your heart. And she wasn't. She wanted me to diagnose her issue. Oh, and, nice. and see her get delivered. Mm -hmm. And I said no. Mm -hmm. Are you willing. <laughs> to submit to the word of God. Because I can't do anything for you. Right. You can't submit to the word of God. That's right. 
because we can clean it out and what will come back? Oh, seven, seven times more. Worse. 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 Exactly. And worse. Right. And I wonder how many times she's already been through deliverance. Yeah. That's a good word, Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. That's that's really true. <laughs> well, when you're sitting there listening to crazy for yeah. 20 minutes, you go, hold on, this is a spiritual issue that I can't deal with, and this has got to be something that's submitted to the Word of God. You can't be delivered of anything you want. Yes, but the Word of God, has. you have to submit to the Word of God. And I agree, you can be delivered of anything. <laughs> no, you can't be delivered of anything you want to keep. Oh, anything you want to keep. Right. It's, it's well, it's the yeah. truth. That's True. exactly well, right. Or if you, like, think God's word, you're smarter than God's word from what he says on the issue. There you go. You're not. I mean, that's you're the pride. Evil. That's the pride. That's the pride. And yeah. I will tell you, I believe that the word of God has delivered me from things in my sleep, in my, yes. when I'm reading, when I'm hearing, whatever. And I don't even know what I've been delivered from, but I feel different. Oh, wait a minute. That in laughter. Me. In joy, in you can get delivered. It's true. Totally. It's true. That's why the joy of the Lord is so powerful. It's the truth. You know, people laugh, you know, and we, well, yeah. not around here. If we were laughing, we'd all be <laughs> joyful. <laughs> But well, in God, what gets is people the think you're nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord is getting you set free. He is. I will never forget, um, but the truth, if you continue in my word, yes, you will be my disciples indeed. You will know Amen. the truth, and the truth will, will set, set you free. free. Amen. It's the truth that sets us Amen. free. Yeah, yeah. It which is the word of God. I want to say, it was not for, it was for freedom, he said. He said free. Don't be yoked again to bondage. Right. Like the Galatians, who has easily bewitched you. That's right. It's like if we're in the truth. If we're, we're in the truth, yeah, we better stay there. Yeah. And if and if we don't believe that this word of God has the ability to deliver us, to set us free, then then I tell you what, you may as well just stay away because it's not going to help you to get delivered because you'll walk right back into a problem. It's kind of like that dog would turn to his own vomit. His own vomit. Yeah. And the word of God says yeah. that over and over. Mm -hmm. So, and let me talk about the laughter for a minute because sometimes we do think laughter is crazy. But I'll tell you what, we have a friend, Kathy Herring, and you might think of a better situation. But man, I remember us being in a situation one time and out of nowhere, she started laughing. And she operates, and the Lord told me straight out, he says, Stephanie, she operates with the spirit of joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I I had honestly, I don't know anybody, it's almost like an office of joy. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's true. It's a high level. Because I'm telling you what, it busts off things. Mm -hmm. So we went to, I went to Nepal with her and Frank. You would be in this situation, you couldn't, you just couldn't figure out what was going on. And she would bust out laughing, and that spirit would break. Mm -hmm. There was, I mean, it had to go. And she, it was just the uh, most. I'll tell you, I was in a meeting with her just not long, that long ago, and a woman that had just come to Colorado to visit another friend. She had been grieving the loss of her husband and so much grief for the last five years. So we wanted to pray for the woman. Well. I see Kathy over there, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, she oh, needs to come over here. <laughs> she comes over there, burst out laughing. And I'll tell you what happened in that that woman got so delivered of that Praise spirit God. of grief to this day. She said, I'm a different person. Praise God. Because that she hadn't, but mm -hmm. she ended up on the floor laughing for the next hour. <laughs> and... <laughs> She said, I hadn't laughed in so many years. And then it just got, I was like, yeah, it's the office. It is the office of joy. <laughs> and Nehemiah says, the Lord is our joy. Yeah. And in Psalms 2, he sits in heaven. Laugh. Laugh. The strength, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. strength. He's above it all. He's above right. it all. And he yeah. Then, it doesn't Amen. Affect you. So and if he laughs at the enemy, and he laughs, yes. and, yes. and so yes. if the spirit of joy hits you, and you think, "Oh my goodness, this is so out of place," it might be right on target. Okay, listen, I got it's healed not. because, Amen. Listen, and that's who I rolled around like the floor medicine. with was Kathy, right? Years for 
years and they wanted to kick us out of the church so bad <laughs> but they didn't know what god was doing and my life was totally healing the trauma and the pain that i had not, been carrying around all my life and it was kathy and i rolling <laughs> And I was the spiritual designated driver. I need somebody. And I'm telling you, the Lord uses the crazy things to confound the wise. Yeah. Because I tell you, things it's it um it doesn't seem normal. Let's just say that. It just doesn't seem normal. But I will tell you, after I've watched it happen, over the years, I have watched her specifically and traveled with her. And I they are as real as the day is long. And uh, they love the Lord. And I love Frank. Frank, her husband, he just stands there. <laughs> and you're just like... Maybe he's a little more introverted. Yeah. Oh, he's not introverted. He, he's got the joy anyway. He does. It's just he doesn't do like Kathy does. Kathy's rolling around on the floor and he's just like <laughs> it's awesome. It is awesome. You know, I have dreams with them in them, and they come in to my dreams as a ministry team, and I'm always glad to see them. Wow. Oh, and I just morning. put it together right now because I'm like, Kathy, you always show up in the middle of intense <laughs> ministry in my dreams. So the yeah. spirit of joy. Yeah. It's, there's, I tell you, until you you experience, we'll just have to have them sometime. Yeah. Because they're going to be at fire camp in the. Um, I told her. About are they going to be there? I told her. Okay, that. so we're going to do fire camp in Colorado, um, Franktown. And um, you guys are all welcome to come. I did announce it in our thing. And um, if you want to come, you'll prop, you'll meet them. <laughs> so be ready. And It'll be good. <laughs> okay. Now, because we're the church, we're the body, and we want to, we want y'all to be trained in the pathetic. We want, we want to be trained well, correct? So yeah. That's why we're reading these scriptures. Over and over. We want solid food. We want to be trained in the, in the spirit. We want to have the correct uh, operation of spirit going on in our lives. We want to be able to give prophetic words and have them um, be the catalyst to see change in people's lives, right? And so um, we've been talking about this for the last few months. Sharon, I know you've been uh, trained in the, in the prophetic as well. But we're practicing because we're going to have a conference with uh, Holly and Lori at the end of the summer. And so we're practicing this summer so that we'll be ready to do teams by the time uh, that, that happens. And what's wonderful is Holly is such a prophetic woman. She will be prophesying to us corporately and to individuals. But if we have teams, we should be able to help and give prophetic. We'll have people sign up. We'll do prophetic words for people, and it'll be good for everyone. You know, Amen. we'll be able to minister to people. But this is also the more we practice, the more we um, it will it will just become easy. It will just become um, more of our everyday life. It's not going to be something special for a special occasion. It's going to be our everyday life. We want to walk in the Spirit daily and be ready. To give prophetic words and it, we don't have to even use that word prophetic right. you know when i train uh, kids in fire camps we've done fire camps for about 15 years now i i don't use big words because i don't want to say oh you're prophet you know you're a, <laughs> you're a prophetic person because that puts brings in something weird we don't want any of that we want to sure. say you can hear from god amen you can hear from god and he's going to speak to you and he's going to give you uh, edification, exhortation, exhortation, and comfort. And so, so let's keep going, and we're going to do some practice tonight. Okay, we want to be careful when we are prophesying to people. We want to we want to be careful not to think through the prophetic word too much. Okay, I was thinking about this last uh, last time, and I was thinking, you know, I don't think I've been. I want to say that the prophetic is so simple. And we make it very diff. We can, we can make it way too complicated. And I can do this. So I, it's just as much me as anybody. So one thing that we want to do when we are 
asking the Lord for a picture, because that's how we do most of the times. So let's ask the Lord for a picture. Um, and when we, when almost, what happens is when you practice this, I, I know that some of you already know this, but before you even close your eyes to pray, the Lord already has answered the right. prayer. Yep. Right? Yep. He's already given you the picture. He's already given you the word. He's already given you the, oh, I dreamed that last night. Here's what that word is. So he's already given it to you. Now, he knows because he is the good father. And if we ask him, he will give us a piece of bread. That's right. right? He will not give us a stone. So um, we want to be careful not to think through the word too much. And when I say that, because we can sit there and stew about a word, thinking it's, wait a minute, this is this is just way off track. If you don't get anything or understand what the word is, and, it, and if it's good, it's something that you think, well, this might bring some edification. I'm not going to worry about it. There it is. Don't worry about it. Just say it. Um, and I'm going to give an example. One time we were doing prophetic healing where, you know, and you know, I have somebody come up here and we sit and we do this all the time up here. So we were sitting there. I had, I was in a big ladies conference and I said, okay, I need one lady to come up here. We're not going to tell what's wrong with her. She needs healing. We're not going to ask what's wrong. We're not going to ask all the questions. You know, can you bend this? You know, that we're not doing any of that because that's not what we do. We just ask the Holy Spirit for the picture. Amen. So. We ask the Holy Spirit for the picture, and one of the ladies says, I see a daisy. A what? Daisy. Okay. So I said, okay, come up here, and what do you do with the daisy? Pull off the petals. Pull off the petals. Mm -hmm. What do you say when you're pulling off the petals? Loves me, loves, loves me not. Yeah. He loves me, that he loves me not. That broke everything right there. Wow. Why? And I didn't know when she said a daisy, in my heart, I'm going, okay, okay Jesus, Lord. you better have this. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I said, come on up here and you stand behind her and you, what do you do with the daisy? He loves me. He loves me not. And instead of saying he loves me not, she stood there and she said, he loves me. He loves, he loves me. He loves me. He loves me. And this woman lost it wow. and was healed. Amen. Amen. You see how simple that is? Yeah. And if, to your point, Stephanie, sometimes we do complicate it. We do. Like we'll process it and go, well, that's too simple. Uh, yeah. It's got to be more. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll just add a little bit to it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Hamburger helper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some noodles in. Yeah. Exactly. And so Jesus really doesn't need our help at all. No. When we just say the word uh, and and be in agreement with the word. And that part of that being in agreement with the word is um, moving forward in an action. You know, we, I just call it a prophetic, a prophetic action. Okay, let's just do that right now. Yes. So um, let's make it so simple. Who needs, does anybody need healing? You know, Sharon, since you've not been here, would you come? Would you come? We're in a, we're a safe place. I, I know you know us. And <laughs> we're, we just want to make this very simple. And what's what I love about this is then you guys basically know Sharon. You guys do. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys can probably. If you get a picture, I want to hear it. So, but here's the deal. When And you're going to find this. When we do fire camp, you're going to find that you love prophesying over people you don't know. And the, the less you know, the better. And, and that's why I always say, don't tell me what's wrong. <laughs> and sometimes, because sometimes you can't. You know, people, you'll get somebody up there, and boy, they've got it all spilled out before you can yeah. even say anything. I'm like, I've got this. I've got arthritis. I've got something going in my back. You know, nice. like, stop. Right. <laughs> because, because actually, all of that brings, why? What does that do when you say, I've got this, this, and this? It brings day, doubt. 
doesn't it? It's like, oh man, she's got some big problems. I don't know if God can do that. Yeah. Right? Okay, so we're going to ask the Lord for a picture. And then, and then we have something else we're going to do tonight too. But I, <laughs> right now, let's go ahead and just mention or just do this. And then we're going to act prophetically, like we do. We're just going to keep practicing. All right, Father, we just thank you for Sharon. Thank you for sharing. Yes. We bless her. She is so precious to you and to us. We love her, Father. We thank you that she's such a good friend. She's your beloved one. And we bless her. Now, Lord, we ask for a word of edification, exhortation, and comfort that will build her and strengthen her. And even though she may not know of anything that's going wrong in her body, we're going to ask, Lord, for a healing word tonight that will bring comfort to her heart in Jesus' name. And we ask, Father, that you'll give us a picture. And, and if, if the Lord gives you something else, please, please operate in that as well. If you... If you all of a sudden your hands are on fire, come on up and go we'll lay hands, okay? All right? But right now, let's ask for the, the picture in Jesus' name. Okay, who already has the picture? Anybody? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I saw you in a convertible driving down the highway fast and the wind just blowing in your hair mm -hmm. and your arm is on the, the side and you're just, just moving down the road. That's a good word. <laughs> That's it. Praise the Lord. Okay, anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So I see Sherry when she opens her arms like that. Mm. It's like it became comes an umbrella mm. of a covering. And she operates as a covering with whoever she spreads her arms mm. off of who's within her reach. That's good. That's what you what you see here. Um, so I just had my hands heat up, you know, like just really, whatever feeling is there, but um, it's there. Amen. Because I don't always have that. Amen. You want to come and lay hands on her back? Or where do you want us to lay hands on? Your head, your back, is your back okay? Okay. I, and, and that's another good bit of protocol, especially if we're going to be that's prophesying over other people. Let's ask where, can I put my hands on your shoulder, your head? You know, the, the places that are. Always good are feet, you know, knees, <laughs> head and shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes. toes. Okay, those are pretty <laughs> safe. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know if this was something else that goes along with it. Oh, it was like fun. an iceberg but flipped upside down. Mm. So the big part was at top, and then the smaller part just was on the bottom. Praise yeah. the Lord. Okay, that's a good word. We're gonna iceberg. We're gonna say yes. Mm. Uh, iceberg. Praise the Lord. All right. I saw like a, a watering pot, like you were the pot and you were pouring out mm. onto uh, plants. And I was thinking of that scripture where, you know, the seed is planted and then the Lord brings the water and the sunlight. Well, the but that, that you actually were bringing the, you know, the water. You were, you were watering. That's good. That's a good picture. Anybody else? I saw a purple flower, and what came to my mind was that scripture, the sweet aroma, the fragrance of Christ. Oh, come here, honey. Okay, <laughs> that we need to operate with that. One. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> just whatever you want to do, and it's interesting because you had a purple shirt on. Right. So, Lane, <laughs> just. Lay your hands on, or whatever you feel like. You now say that scripture again. The sweet aroma. Oh, there you go. Um, Father, thank you that she's the sweet aroma of the fragrance of Christ mm -hmm. everywhere she goes, goes, and, or grows. <laughs> and, and Father, I just ask that you amplify mm -hmm. that smell. Just yeah, stronger and stronger, like it's like boom, overwhelming <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so, so, Stephanie, um, yes, before you started, I, I, I heard the rose of sugar. Ooh, that's good. And I don't even know what the rose of Sharon is. But Thank you. 
It's, it's, right. it's, it's in, in the, the Song of Solomon. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a type of hibiscus flower. Yeah, it is a flower too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, so I looked it up and it said it symbolizes um, beauty. And it's used in the book of Song of Solomon to describe the beauty of King Solomon's lover. Mm -hmm. So it's all about beauty. Amen. Yeah. And look, she still works. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. There's a lot of gardening going on. There's a lot of gardening. Oh my goodness. Anybody else have a picture? Is anybody smelling anything? <laughs> oh, what was it that Connie was smelling the other day? Oh, cookies. Cookies. <laughs> she said, smelled all she said cookies. who is making cookies? She said, nobody's <laughs> in it. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. It was chocolate chip cookies, that's right. It just made me laugh because then I was walking around smelling popcorn or something. And I was like, Butter. good grief. And it was so strong. It was so good. Praise the Lord. But the fragrance, that just made me think. We may smell something tonight. Okay. Don't be surprised. <laughs> so the picture I saw was this beautiful woman. And she did this perfect dive, you know, like you would into upon a beautiful pool, I would say a beautiful pool of water, and the water splashed everywhere, and the diver went down into all the depths of the water. That's a good picture. That's a really good picture. No, think that of this, so that the aroma comes before you even. You know, when you have Sometimes you could see it, smell it before you see it. Right. It's true. Whoa. If you're, uh, there you go. <laughs> if you're, if you're uh, around a restaurant, you can't see the restaurant, but you smell the restaurant, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Smell it coming. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to smell you coming. Because they wear it as the rest of the era. <laughs> Is, is it Sharon like, or Sharon? She, well, either way, I call oh, my given name is Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Well, we call her Sherry. Oh, yeah, Sherry. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Anyone else? Oh, wait. <laughs> Anyone else? Those are all good words. Okay. Do you feel comforted? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Don't be too boisterous. And look now, now ask her. <laughs> Try not to cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see something else? Oh, no, I'm just okay, I'm good. 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 Do you still feel that in your hands? Oh, I do. It's, yeah. It's uh, in the red. You can see it. Yeah. God, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. Amen. We agree. Lord. Father, in fact, put your hands yeah. out. Father, right now, we just thank you that you use us. We just thank you, Father, that you're upping the level of this prophetic here in this room right now. And, Father, however you want to use healing in our hands or whatever, we just say yes in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. And actually, I felt something very tangible just land on me. So you might feel something. You might feel something heavy. Come on, put your hands out if you haven't. Put your hands out again. And let's ask again. Lord, we just thank you that you put in our hands the things, the, the weapons, the correct weapons that we need to use for our warfare with the enemy, with, with the works of darkness, we thank you, God, that you give us great weapons that def destroy and defeat the enemy with truth and with goodness and with the gifts of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We give you all glory. Glory. Boy, I'll take that. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling I'll know what it is when I need it. An old-fashioned key with, like, a loop, not the intricate uh -huh. but, like... So I don't know if it's more like a sheriff's key. You know how they were more plain? Yeah, I mean, that's what I could say, like a skeleton key. Uh -huh. And the, the handle part was just a hole. Mm. Mm. And they have a lot of those. You know, I could add a whole lot to that, but I won't. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm trying not to complicate anything tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> No, I'm just going to say it. Keys a lot of times set the captive free. <laughs> so thank you, Lord. 
And we just say Sherry operates in yes. that ability to set the captive free. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Thank you, God. So <laughs> can I? Yes. <laughs> I just got this picture of, oh, that was so cool. <laughs> like you're coming. And they're excited because they know they're going to be set free. <laughs> and yet yeah. that, that scent of you is coming before oh, them. I love that. That's so good. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. That was cool. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, yeah. we just take that for all of us. Lord, yeah. may, may they see us coming, or may yeah. they not even see us coming, and may they say, oh, they deliverance, deliverance is yeah. on the way. Glory yeah. to God. Thank you, Lord. We just give you glory. Thank you, Father. May the fragrance, yes, may the fragrance of the Lord surround us. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. And that goodness that causes us to Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's just give the Lord some glory. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. Lord, we thank you right now that this is the Finney House. Lord, we say yes to the Finney House. Glory. Glory, Lord. That was your idea. We say yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. There's strong angels in the room right now. I already have evidence we thank you lord for the strong angels that you have sent to be with us tonight we give you glory and praise thank you god thank you god lord teach us to hear your voice lord may the heavens open tonight over us lord may we hear your voice tonight not just in this place but lord when we go home and sleep may the open heavens be above us so that we will hear your voice clearly in Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. We give you all glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see things just dropping out of the heavenlies right now. So we just say, we want them. We take you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We just give you glory. I see it's like a hard candy, but it's uh, it's liquidy, but it's dropping on us. So, Father, we thank you. We take that. We want it, Lord. We'll take whatever you're sending our way. We say yes. Glory to God. Lord, you said. You said. They'll expect signs, wonders, and miracles. We expect them. We say yes. You said they'll follow us in what we in, when we obey you, when we love you, and we reverence your work. Lord, you said so. Lord, we remind you and we say yes. We agree, Father. We thank you. We thank you that you are the miracle working God. Thank you, Lord. Oh my goodness, there's some strong angels in here. <laughs> no, it's just check around you. You might, when you put your hand up, you might just sense the presence of angels in the room. Father, thank you. And I want to know if anybody feels or senses anything right around them. Just tell me what you say. Does anybody sense anything? <laughs> yes, I just keep seeing this like rectangle, like so we're inside, and I think it was my bedroom first. But um, just the sky and it's, it has all the stars. It's a deep blue, so it's just beautiful and peaceful. Mm -hmm. and it's just open up. To Oh, praise the Lord. Open heavens. Open heavens. You know, Jesus Window. does take the lid off of the box. You know, we think things are a certain way and we put it in the box. But God's like, no, nope, we're taking the box lid off tonight. Thank you, God. We give you glory. We want to, and we get, that's a glory box because of the blue. <laughs> we'll take that. Thank you, Lord. I feel like I am walking on like little things keep hitting me on my feet like it kind of feels pokey but it doesn't hurt you know you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> i just felt that it hurt my toe <laughs> it's like you know they're they they like for us to know they're present and i would just love to see what tucker's seeing so you know did anybody He's else investigating back here oh. yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> Did any, does anybody else see anything or feel anything or see anything or sense anything? Come here. I, well, felt, I, I saw sure. this and I'm not sure if it's just for you or if it's for all of us, but I saw this like wave come and and I because I was praying for you, I saw you get like in like sucked into the wave. <laughs> like, you know, when you get sucked in, you just and you go with the wave and pretty soon you don't see. I didn't see you anymore. I just saw the way. <laughs> and I just thought, that is so awesome. That's like where we need to be. Like, yes. Oh God, we just get sucked in. Oh, God. thank you, Lord. And, you know, we're not even seeing, but the wave is moving. You know? Yes. So I was just thinking about that. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you know, that. That's so good. Yeah, it's like so being, good. being. you know what? It's like a refreshing mood and spirit, a refreshing wave and spirit. We just say yes to that. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bill, what did you see? I just felt different weight, more weight in my left hand than in my right hand, but weight in both hands just weighing down. Yes. It's like something. You know, I do believe the Lord hands us tools, um, things that we need at different times and it does you can tangibly feel that yeah. in your hands yeah. i we one time we had in fire camp we had we wanted we were in a room and we were talking about angels and <laughs> we had these teenage they were young teenage girls and they were all of a sudden oh my goodness my hands are full of fire and i could see the fireball you know i mean they were just having a ball <laughs> that the lord will hand you things in your you know in your hands and uh, and it's real it's very real can i say it's more real than our reality you know yeah, yeah. Earth? it's real so father we thank you for those things and we give you glory and praise maybe we don't understand teach us to use them teach us to understand what it is but lord i don't even have to know i just know you're going to help me use it when i need it so that's i love my ignorance sometimes so. thank you lord. thank you lord yes Rick. when you were describing the wave i just saw it looked like sherry she was much younger, but it looked like her. You were wearing the same color. That's why I recognized you. And you were riding on two dolphins, one foot on each one, mm -hmm. and holding like a little guide rope mm -hmm. and wearing a crown. Oh, wow. It was really cool. And it's going to be like heaven. Yes. We're going to see that. We're going to see that. I'm going to get to heaven. And go. There's your show. Sure. Yeah. We were just seeing her. Yeah. That's good. Oh, that's good. Now your dolphin's coming on my way here. Yeah. It's like a dolphin in the sky. That's awesome. Praise the Lord. Okay. Is that good? She's like, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love you. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Oh my goodness, we're honored. <laughs> All right. So, you see how simple. We didn't really explain much of anything. I explained one thing, but that's it. Everything else was, we just said the picture, right? Yep. We didn't complicate yep. it. Good for us. I, I, you know what? It was a lot of work for me. <laughs> uh, okay. I remember when I, we first started doing this, and I did complicate things too much in my own mind. It was my own deal. And so I had to discipline myself and realize that I was the one making it complicated. It wasn't the Lord. And, um, you know, a lot of times we say, well, this is crazy. And I, that was my first thing to say on every time I saw a word. This is crazy. I don't understand it, but I'm going to just step out. And then finally I got to where I was like, you know what? It is, I have to trust that the Lord is giving it to me. Amen. No matter how strange it is. And I have no clue. You know, he says his ways are higher than yeah, our ways. That's what I was his saying. thoughts are higher, higher than, than our thoughts. And so if we're leaning on him and saying, I know you're going to speak to me, then we have to trust that what we see is not right. just crazy. Right. It is what he's wanting to, us to say. Same thing with dreams. You have a dream and it's, you know, you're just like, there's no way this can be from God. It was too crazy. Well, I'm telling you, it was probably the biggest dream from God. <laughs> it was big. <laughs> yes. And then Alex, I'll go to you. Yes. When we were on teams, um, 
I often found that if someone had the first piece and didn't say it, you could just sit there. And it will come out. You know, and they it, didn't realize yeah. that they needed to say it first. Mm -hmm. first. Yeah. And then everything would follow. Yes. I was gun shy like that. In yes. the beginning, when people were the second part, yes. then I knew I should have said mine, but I hesitated. Right. For me, I'll say yeah. is sometimes when you're new or young in it, yeah. you're yeah, uh, no. you think it's your imagination. Exactly. Right? And you don't want to speak out exactly. that it be that, you right. know? And then I heard, ask for God to sanctify and use your imagination as well. That's yes, all, I am. All his organic library to draw from you to give to somebody else. Yes, I Then I started having more confidence in, in coming out. I am. And think like the heavenly ways are not earthly ways. No. Mm -hmm. And like that scripture you said before about the foolish things to come out of the wise. Amen. Amen. It's true. I do that. So <laughs> part of, and, and so the Lord convicted me one day um, about, and this, I'm not, this is not condemnation on anything. I'm just saying what I went through is the Lord said, so even if it's silly stuff, right. do you trust me? Right. And so then I, then I was like, okay, I better rephrase how I'm saying this. And you're right. I better trust you because you are right every time. Yes. I'm not right every time, but you are. And, um, and your thoughts are so good. And, um, and yeah, I agree with that. So then I stopped saying my little spiel at the beginning. Well, this is crazy. <laughs> so to that point, yeah. Stephanie, yeah. I've watched. <laughs> her. She's walking on water. Yeah. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> Operate um, in a very free flowing ability of the word of knowledge. Right. And um, like uh, stories in the jail were unbelievable yeah. of the Lord would have her say things that wh where did that ever come from right, right? Uh, it's true but but I, I'll tell you you want to bring somebody over to the Lord quickly mm -hmm. give them a word of knowledge about yeah. their life oh, yeah. that nobody should know it's hey really Janet yeah. can you tell that story about the nail in the foot oh jeez yeah, this is, weird, this is wild because I thought it was for sure it was a nail. Because I thought, you know, when Jesus had the nail on the foot, because I saw a hole in somebody's foot. And so I just took the risk and said, Does somebody in here have a hole in their foot? And this woman rips off, you know, those jails. jails so <laughs> and she rips it off and she shows me the hole in her foot. And she's like, I've had this hole in my foot for so long, it won't heal. But see, a word of knowledge brings the healing. Amen. So she, it healed. Amen. Praise yeah. God. So it, the the next couple of weeks I saw her, she it was totally healed. Praise the Praise Lord. God. I mean, you don't even, I didn't even have to pray. I just kind of freaked out. I was like, <laughs> I've never seen a hole in the foot. I mean, it was Pretty like, crazy. a little and look, God came so real to her, like, whoa. Oh, yeah, like, God, this, he came very real. So yeah. if the Lord brings it up, right. who's right. there to deal with it? Yeah, and even though you think, who's got a hole in their foot? Now, right. that doesn't even make sense, <laughs> right? Right? Holy but she God. did, <laughs> right? Yeah. And yeah. and when we take a step, that's our acting in, a, in agreement right. with the Lord, in obedience to the Lord. And that, in tandem it brings the healing right. because if you not said it it wouldn't have happened right so praise the lord it was awesome <laughs> that's yeah. so good that's It'd so be good. funky right now okay <laughs> <laughs> now alex i know you're going to have a lot to say for this oh. but i want to i'm tonight i want to just start on i want to touch on creativity and we were talking about the creatures earlier but i want us to talk about creativity and how we can bring down creativity from heaven um one of the things that we, well, Rick, you're an artist too. Well, literally, all of us in this room are creative. Amen. And hi, hi, you're, you're an artist. Now, some of these people really practice this, and some of us stand outside and go, boy, I wish I could get my paints out. <laughs> but um, so one of the things that we do in Fire Camp is uh, creativity, just asking God for his creativity. Because just like Whatever's going on in heaven, right? This is what we say. Whatever's going on in heaven, we want it to go here on here on earth. 
So your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we know that God is the ultimate creator. He is an artist. I mean, oh yeah. I was thinking about this again today. I was just thinking about our human bodies. And I was thinking about our skin. Think about your skin for just a second. You have one type of skin on the palms of your hand and on your fingers, okay? You have another one on the back. You have a different one in your mouth. You have a different one here. You have a different one in your ear. You have different ones inside your ear. You have so many cut the bottom of your feet, different type of skin. That's just That's one creative. physical body. Right. That's a creative God. Right. Just right. think of the organs. Think of the right. organs. Gosh. And, and we say it's a blob of tissue. Are you kidding? What a oh. lie. Yeah. So um, just think about, think about this, your eyelids. I think yeah. of this like how he made it one cell. Yeah. In one cell and divide it, it became divided and divided. Right. And yeah. I can't explain that. And and even even seeds going into the ground. I was thinking I've been thinking about this because we're gardening. It's like they know that an apple seed going into the ground does not have the ability to become a tree unless there's a God. Yeah. Because that one seed does not have everything in it. Yeah. And they know that. Yeah. The scientists, I was, I was reading a thing about trees, and they, they were like, we have no idea. But yeah. the soil contains everything that's needed. And think about where we were created from the soil, dirt. from the dirt. the dirt. And everything that God makes comes up out of the dirt that's in exactly, some fashion. That's exactly the what seed, that means also. The seed catalyzes it, right. but the dirt's what makes it happen. The dirt and the sun. And the and the water. atmosphere and the water. And the There's all of these elements, but the seed itself doesn't have it. But That's right. All of these elements together, and then but That's still true. think about that mm -hmm. tiny seed becoming an apple or becoming a tree, and then producing millions right. of apples. Okay. So crazy. The, the, yes. about the seed. Yes. How does it know what to go up and yeah. what to go down? <laughs> right. Exactly. I mean, he on I'm, okay, on Mr. Root, I want you to go down. Which way is down, right? I mean, how does all that happen? You think about a high intelligence yeah. of just one seed. Yeah. It's crazy. But, but, but I brought up the skin because I want you to think about the brilliance of the creative God that we have. And so every right. time that you do things, you know, different things, think about your fingernails even that are attached to different skin, but they grow out of our skin so brilliantly. And we use them all the time. You just think about the brilliance right. of our human body and this creative body. Okay, so what we want to do, so literally, when you when you see inventions and things like that that happen, many times it, it comes, comes out of nature. dreams or from nature. Exactly. So, scientists study nature so they can figure out um, how to do different things, how to make a ship work correctly. They'll figure out how the fish, you know, work yeah. correctly and then and swim faster and all of those things. And they, they study an animal so that they can make whatever work better. So um, so what we want to do tonight is we're going to do some creativity. And I've got some paper and some pencils and we're going to break up into we want to break up into a team again. And so what we're going to do in the end is we're going to give each, everyone you hear will get a prophetic word from art. And we're going to do it just like we do in fire camp, which is quite stunning. It always is amazing to me how it happens. So, so let's, let's just pray right now that the, the spirit, of, I've been praying this all day long, that the spirit of creativity will come into this room. Father, we just thank you right now that you are the creator God. You are the ultimate creator. You are the, you are, your creativity is so high above our abilities. It's, <laughs> it's laughable where we are. Mm -hmm. So Father, we thank you for how you created our bodies. And we thank you, Lord, that how you call our bodies into perfection. We thank you, Lord, for how you do things that you do all around us. All of nature cries out and just gives glory to the one true God. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We give you glory right now for how you created us. Even our flaws. Thank you, God, that I have mistakes on me that I've made in my, my little scars, my little things that I, so I can see even how my body was created to heal itself. Father, thank you. You're so good to us. We bless you.
Now, Lord, we ask God as you bring that spirit of creativity into the room that we will catch it. We will catch it. And, Lord, I pray that it will be like a snowball in us, that it will begin to increase and increase and increase in Jesus' name. Lord, we know you need people to catch your inventions. You need us to catch your ideas. You need us to catch your books, your art pieces. You need us. So, God, we thank you tonight and give you all glory and praise for what you're bringing into this room now. And we want to operate alongside of it. Now, um, this is really interesting because last week I went to an estate sale and I was given a whole bunch of art. And um, the lady just said, well, what, what happened was I bought some watercolor paper for next to nothing. And this lady happened to be an art gallery person. And wow. she um, had these art pieces over here on the table. They, and they just gave them to me because they said, we don't know what to do with them. And I, I sent a couple of them to a nursing home because they were kind of a senior citizen focused. And, and I thought maybe they'll be able to use them. But if anybody can take, would like to take any of that art, you're welcome to it. They're beautiful pieces. This woman was an excellent artist. So um, <clears throat> fire camps for, uh, for years, we were able to do End Time Handmaidens World Conference fire camp. So we trained missionary kids, pastors, kids all, from all over the world. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, crazy, but fun. <laughs> so anyway, um, what last the last, I think it was the last time we did it. It may have been the time before. Anyway, and I'm, it's kind of sad because right now it's not happening. Yeah, I was gonna... They are going, but or they're doing a conference, but it's not like it used to be. Anyway, it's okay. Oh. So um, fire camp needs to expand in Colorado. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that particular year, we had not... We had, I had started out, we had trained them to how to hear the voice of God, and we were doing very much what we were doing tonight. We were prophesying, we were giving pictures, you know, tell me what picture you see. Now, we were doing that with the kids, and I have, I think, three kids that, and if, you, if you've, you're if you around fire camp, I mean, it just explodes. The kids are all getting words, mm. they're all doing this, and then what we also had was these, we would have then prophesy over, we'd have the adults come in, we'd prophet, we'd, we would, the kids would be the teens, and then we'd have the adults, we'd prophesy over the adults. Well, it was always really powerful. So, <clears throat> this particular year, I didn't do anything with prophetic art the first two days. And I had three kids in that group that could not tell me one single word. I would say, come on, I know you're seeing something. And they were like, nope. <laughs> Come on, I know you're seeing something. Nope. Okay. So on the third day, I got out the paper and the crayons and everything else. And I said, okay, today we're going to do prophetic art. And um, we set them at the tables. And what we'll, I'll show you what we'll do. We're going to do the same thing in here. We're going to write your name. Your name is going to go on one side of the paper. But we're going to put the paper down so nobody can see your name. And then we're going to draw. Now. All two days, two full days of these kids not seeing one thing. And we do one prophetic art uh, exercise and boom, Woo. it busts open. Where they couldn't see a picture, they could put it on the paper. Hmm. They couldn't tell say them. We were doing the dream, remember? Yes. That? Yeah, you want to tell? Tell it from your side of the story. Yeah, because, because we were doing interpretation for this older. Older, but the gentleman, the pastor, yeah, James, and he had this big long dream. Yes, <laughs> and so we, you know, Seth and I are like, okay, <laughs> but we weren't Scroll. doing it publicly, so it was okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're helping him with the dream, and all of a sudden, one of these kids who never got a word, who was across the room, across the room, didn't hear any of our conversation. Mm. The dream, wow. comes up with a a drawing, which basically was the interpretation oh, that we were getting in the dream Ooh. it was not only the dream but it was the dream interpretation right. it was it was crazy. the whole thing in a picture it was crazy wow. cool. it was shocking yeah it was like oh, how did you and he was way over i mean we're twice the size this room and yeah. it was way over there yeah. and he could not have heard we were like 
you know, in yeah. this corner talking to the Totally guy. Daniel. Yeah, it was. <laughs> totally like Daniel. Yeah. Listen, was you know, name? John Paul Jackson said it. He said, he said, I absolutely hate it when they call me a prophet because I've seen what is to come. We've wow. seen part of what's to come wow, because yeah. we have seen this kind of thing in the kids and you just go, how is that possible? Right. So, so tonight as we do this, I mean, we, it, it's shocking what comes out of art and, and what was so good was that I got the lesson boom in my head. No more will I put off art for more than one day because um, a lot of times I, you know, it's, it's getting the crayons out and it's doing something different because I don't want him to think we're going to paint by number or something like that. Because that's not what it is. I want you to hear from the Lord and I want you to put it on paper. Now, okay, now with that being said, we are not expecting a Picasso. We are expecting <laughs> stick figures. We are expecting very, you know, simple sketches. We're not, we're not expecting anything big. But God will give you a picture and just draw it as best as you can. And it doesn't matter. Okay? Then please. Here's, here's the thing as adults. How many of you were told by a teacher or somebody you respected, well, that's a horrible piece of, what is, what yeah. is that? Yes. What is that you just drew? Yes. I was thinking how much sugar healing I still need. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it happens more than not. And so right now we're going to ask the Lord to heal us because of some, yes. at some point. I listen, that's a lie. That is a lie. Ooh. And listen, I went to school. I went all I'm through school <laughs> in Clay Center, Kansas, in my little town. And I was very encouraged by my teachers. I got scholarship to journalism school. I was very encouraged. I had I had this uh, <laughs> Vietnam vet, Mr. Ruth, Mr. Ruth, <laughs> had been in the concentration camp, had lost wow. half his stomach. And uh, Mr. Booth, <laughs> he was just a funny guy. But he encouraged me, encouraged me, encouraged me, Stephanie. You need to do this, okay? And he and he took me to to regionals, and to state with photography, and he really encouraged me. And then I and I had other teachers that encouraged me the same way. I get to college. The first thing I hand in in college when I get to journalism school, that teacher goes, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> And you said what? And I said, being the introvert I was <laughs> anyway, I was like, oh, I'm in the wrong place. Right? Hmm. And I have had, I've had other artists pray for me. I just said, you got to pray that off of me. Yeah. Because it shut me down. Oh, yeah. Hmm. To, to the it? point that I didn't even, I just got rid of my camera. Didn't even wow. want to like it. So, oh, some ever you know other people in here probably had that same experience yeah. in one way or another. So, Father, right now we remember that person that didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> we remember that situation. It could have been an elementary school. It could have been it could have been a friend of ours that said something silly about our art. And Father, they didn't know what we were doing, and so we forgive them. We forgive them. And Father, I, we don't hold anything. They didn't know. And we just, we thank you for their their gifting. And we pray, God, that they will be blessed. Yes. And Lord, we ask right now that you will go into that part of our heart, that part of our brain, that part of our gifting that you gave us, that part of our gifting. We just ask that your Holy Spirit come in right now. And heal us. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that our emotions are being healed, that our gifting is being restored, and we just thank you right now in Jesus' name that your hand is on the move. Lord, we we send out any of those words. I can't really remember what the words were said. I can't even remember. But I just send out those things because somewhere in my brain, I'm sure they're there. 
And so I send those things out. We just send it out. We say it's not ours. It was a lie. And we disagree with that lie. And we agree with what you said to us, that we are gifted. We are created. That you, we are because we're made like you, Lord, and you are the created one. And if you made us in your image, then we're created. All of our creativity just looks different. And so, Father, we thank you in advance now for healing us. And just put your hands out and just say, Lord, heal these hands, heal this mind, heal my eyes, heal my perception, heal my understanding of creativity. And we just thank you right now that it's coming down. Yes, all of all the parts of us. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Heal us. I just see, and Alex, I wonder if this is you, but I see a big, a long shoelace. I see it being uh, laced back together. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we just thank you that you're reconnecting two parts of how we get the gospel out, how we get the creativity out, the shoe, the foot. You're getting this out. And you're connecting it again. And we thank you, God. We give you glory. And I just speak your creative power over everyone in this room tonight. We just give you glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let's just speak in tongues for this Oh my goodness, I am just overwhelmed with something right now and I feel like it's the Lord saying, I've got so much to pour out, but it's been shut up <laughs> and turned off. So Father, we just ask you to turn up the spigot, <laughs> turn up the flow. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, let me say that Sammy is going to come in and she's going to start. I think she might be here next Saturday to do an art thing. If you have an art project that you want to come, if you want to just come in and sew or knit or embroidery, you can do that. You can do any kind, right? You can do any kind of art if you want to come in and do it. Come on in. And I'm going to have her come some night, hopefully quite soon. And she's going to speak. She wants to, she'll speak over us as well in, in the creativity. Because um, I, you know what? This is, this is so extremely important. So, especially in this day. Um, okay. I want to break up friends and marriages. <laughs> <laughs> and families. <laughs> <In a> good <laughs> way. <laughs> you, can, so yeah, you can't be right. together. <laughs> to grow. Not just so let's have five five of you over here at this uh, this table over here, and I'll give you instructions.